So I'm going to bring things here a little at a time. I don't have a car or anything like that. So it could take a few weeks. And the gate, I'll leave that till the very end, I think. Right, I thought this was just a bed. But there seems to be plastic underneath it. So that's not getting off to a good a start as I thought it was going to be. Also, let me get my gloves out. I don't think this is anything in particular. No, there's no scent to it. So I think it is just a weed. Got nice sturdy gloves on. It's unfortunate that there's plastic underneath this because I thought this would be an easy start. Ah, look at that. Ooh. Hold on, I'm getting distracted. There's an apple tree, Gala, and it looks like it's just been planted. Okay, you can stay there for the time being. Yes, there's plastic all the way around. What a shame. Okay, the compost bin is going here. There it is, look. Plastic's all the way underneath it. At least that means if I can get this up, the ground underneath should be weed free. I'm getting a feeling now that this plot not going to be as easy as I thought so it might take a bit longer to get it to the point where I want it to be it's very wet as well because of the plastic Oh, the plastic seems to be all the way along the base here. So at this precise moment in time, I'm feeling slightly disheartened already. But we'll carry on. Sometimes it's best to just lose yourself in a task and then you see the progress at the end. But Look at that view. How can you be despondent? They're cutting the trees down today so you can hear the chainsaws in the back. Right, I may bring a knife next time so at least I can cut this. Oh, it smells. It smells.
Well, I must tell you, I'm feeling a bit despondent. I was hoping to get some potatoes in today, but that's not going to happen. Oh, all this plastic I wasn't aware of. So I'm gonna have to take my own advice. Slow and steady. And hopefully I'll win at least this race by the end of the month. I'm slightly concerned now. Maybe I should have not ordered the shed just yet. Because that looks a lot worse today in the cold light of the warm sunshine. Right, am I gonna keep these? Maybe, I'll put them in the maybe pile. But we'll just keep the head down and get on with it. It's a nice day though, so, you know, gotta keep that in mind. This is a vision of the future, of what it could be like on a nice summer's day. We'll certainly be having a bonfire at some point. goes in the bonfire pile. In a few days, this, this will soon dry out. It's only wet because of the plastic. Well, it may not feel like I've done much today, but I've made a start. And at least I can assess the situation. So now I need to bring a pair of scissors down with me. And hopefully, but the next time I come back, the ground would have dried out a bit. Because being underneath this plastic for so long, at least a year, it's all wet and muddy. So I may not have got my potatoes or my onions in today, but I've made a start. And making a start is better than not making a start. But it's nice to be out, feel the sun, and enjoy that peace and quiet. Right, what I might do is, I might leave my gloves and my little trowel in this compartment here. It looks dry enough. And unlike London, the foxes here like to keep themselves to themselves and stay on the mountain. And in fact, it's a rare thing here to see a fox. So I think they'll be fairly safe there. But yes, this is going to be a task, I tell you. Oh, it helps to think that I've got a little bit of turkey and stuff in sandwiches for when I get home. But yes, it, I think it'll probably take two years to get it sorted. Anyway, making a start. That's what it's all about. Right, I feel like I've got a hike home now. I job I got the bike and it's all downhill. By the way, these are my new boots. 
nice and strong and sturdy, I think they'll see me through. So this is apparently where the shed is going. So next time, I think I might start up here as well. I know I usually say start a bit and stay on it till it's finished, but I have this deadline of the shed turning up. And at least the good thing is, once the shed is here, I've then got shelter, a place to go for a cup of tea, have a little sleep, so I can spend more, t more time on the plot and then get more done. But look at that view. At least I've got my bike to take me home. I'll put a link to this in the description below. And I'll also be doing a video just about this in a few weeks time. But look at that. How can you lose heart? thinking I'll be sat inside a shed looking at this view. Oh, right. Clean the old hands. I think I stopped just at the right time. My back doesn't hurt, but I think if I'd gone a bit longer, it might have done. So if I've got any radox, it will be an evening for the bath tonight, I think. All this for a pound of potatoes. Now, I had a big lunch before I left. I'm going to do a sandwich. I've got a tiny bit of bread left. The next rainy day, I'm hoping to have a go at my own bread in the slow cooker and making my own butter. Obviously, I don't want to do it on a sunny day because that would be wasting the day. Oh, I've got some silver onions left over, I can see. Right, I'm going to relax in front of the TV. It is a Friday night tonight, so Gardener's World is on. So I'll catch up with you next time. Hopefully my back doesn't suffer. This is why I'm thinking about going to the gym, but make my body a bit uh, stronger and lose that, and then maybe my back won't be as bad. Right, I'm going to enjoy my food. I'll catch up with you next time. So thanks for joining me. So until the next visit, bye for now. I can feel something crawling on me.